One of the advantages of being of a certain age is that you can look back and realize a certain number of things. Like for example, that you sometimes just have to be your own damn coach. I also learned that it's often best not to pay attention to the story other people tell you about yourself unless it's positive. And here's why. If you go to my Instagram handle, Lorraine C. Laddish, down in my notes of the video, you can see my yoga poses. I'm almost 55. I've enjoyed a lifetime of fitness and sports and well-being, but based on what happened to me when I was a child, this was highly unlikely. I was a kid in physical education class that nobody wanted on their team, and it was horrible. You know what it feels like when you're the only one left on the bench and, and the captains of the teams of volleyball or soccer or basketball don't want you in their team? It was, it was awful, and I felt that I was not good at sports, that I was a bad team player. I was told a number of times that I was uncoordinated. So based on that, if I had paid attention to what people told me, I would not have done what I did. I started yoga and running on my own at 12. I will forever be grateful to my dad who gave me a book called The 28 Day Yoga Challenge by Richard Hittleman, which I still own, and for also motivating me to run with him. It was, it was hard, and, but it was also a time that I connected with my dad. However, that did not help me at school because I was not fast, and there was no marathon running in high school or in middle school. I went on to become a lifetime runner and ran marathons up until the age of 48 when I injured my hip and switched it out for yoga. I became a fitness instructor at 21 and took up modern and jazz dancing at 23. I continued yoga, I continued dancing. In my 30s and 40s, I took up ballroom dancing and salsa dancing. And at 51, I came back to the yoga mat because of my hip injury and went on to use the hashtag yoga every damn day because that's in fact what I do. My life would have been completely different had I listened to the people who told me when I was very young and vulnerable that I was not good at sports and that I was uncoordinated. Sports and fitness has permeated my entire life and has also helped me cope with anxiety and depression which I mentioned in a different video only on that. You might ask yourself, well, how did you keep on going? What motivated you? The motivation I got was that I needed an outlet for my anxiety and my depression. And I realized that after I practiced sports on my own, I felt much better. This doesn't mean that my fitness journey has been easy. When I went into my first dance class at 23, I felt too old because all the other dancers were younger. I felt insecure because everything that I had learned from my being a fitness instructor had nothing to do with being a dancer. The way you stand, the way you position yourself, uh, the breathing, everything is different. But I did not let that keep me from going back to the studio, even though I cried every single time. Once you get past those feelings of inadequacy, of feeling like everybody's looking at you, which they really are not, and if they are, it doesn't really matter, I can tell you that the rewards of fitness, of something that makes you feel powerful and is an outlet for your emotions, is a wonderful way to live. Whether you're young, whether you're old, whether whatever age you are, please don't let the voices of other people influence the story that you make about yourself in your head. You can change that story. Now I look back at those kids who didn't pick me for their teams and they are my age. I can see them on social media and a lot of them look like they haven't practiced sports the rest of their lives. I confess it's a little bit hard not to feel a tiny, tiny bit, you know, like I, well, look at me now. If you need somebody to cheer you on, let me know in the comments. I'll cheer you on. Find people around you who will bring out the best in you. Stay away from the naysayers. And if need be, like I did, be your own damn coach. I had to become my own damn coach again in midlife when I lost everything, my marriage, my source of income, my savings, everything except my kids and my hope. And I wrote a book about it called 
Reach from Single Mom on Welfare to Digital Entrepreneur, which you can find on Amazon as a Kindle that is free once in a while and as a very short paper book. If you like this video, I would love it if you liked it, shared it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, then I encourage you to look at my other videos and maybe one of them will make you want to subscribe.